What was the nastiest thing a coworker did to you in front of the entire office? I was the number two salesman at a family-owned RV dealership. They had promoted me from the shop to sales with no experience in sales. I sold for my first five days. They couldn't believe how many campers I sold. I called a previous salesman's lead one slow day and sold a campground with six brand new basic model large campers. I loved selling. I never knew I would be good at it. The only reason one guy sold more than me was because he was a sleaze who lied to people constantly and ripped them off. He caused the dealership a lot of trouble and was eventually fired for threatening a customer, making me number one overnight. But one day the old man who started the dealership 40 years ago overheard a question I asked about a new warranty we were going to offer and took it completely differently than I meant it. He started yelling at me in the showroom in front of all the other salesmen and saleswomen. He yelled over me when I tried to explain I didn't mean it like he took it. How dare you question what we do here? You just do what you are told and keep your mouth shut. Your name isn't on this building, mine is. I got my things out of my office and walked out, terribly humiliated and embarrassed. I couldn't believe my dream job had suddenly ended like that. And I was pissed. Stupid old man. I had a lot of money in the bank. I had gone from 400 a week in the shop to 1000 to 2000 a week in sales for a year. I decided to take a vacation before looking for another job in sales. My wife and daughter and I had a great week at a hotel at the beach, the first time we could afford a nice hotel and expensive restaurants. Apparently sales at the dealership took a shit after I and the guy who got fired were gone. There's only three types of salespeople, ones who love it and are good at it and work hard, lazy ones, and ones who just aren't salespeople but try hard. They only have the latter two types now, it's not easy selling $60,000 to $200,000 RVs if you don't love doing it and take it seriously. The cheap ones sell themselves but there's not enough profit to stay in business with just those. And the salespeople they had left had to sell on price, which killed profit on those too. I sold them at sticker price often and even sold one on a Sunday when we were closed when I passed the dealership with my family and saw an old man looking in the showroom window. I went back and let him in and got a deposit on a brand new RV and went on my way. I loved walking in the sales manager's office Monday and dropping the paperwork on his desk and saying here I sold that one yesterday. Yesterday? How did you do that? The sales manager called and said the old man told him I could come back if I wanted to. I said I didn't. He called a week later and said the old man admits he was wrong, he talked to the other salespeople and they said he was wrong. I could come back, I said no thanks but no I didn't have a new job yet I wasn't looking yet. One of the saleswomen called me and begged me to come back, sales were way down and they were under a lot of pressure to sell which made sales go down even more and everyone was about to quit. I loved it. F that old man. F him. Prick. I told her so. The sales manager called 20 minutes later and said name my price to come back or he was about to lose his entire sales crew. I went back the next day. Number one demand was that the old man apologized to me in front of all the salespeople. He did. They met a list of demands and I stayed two more years until I caught my wife cheating and lost two family members in one month. I dropped to last in sales that month and they threatened to let me go in the old man's office. I asked if they understood what I was going through and they said you just have to suck it up and put all that aside at work. I couldn't believe what cold pricks they were. On top of everything I was going through I was about to get fired even though I still showed up every day and tried to sell. All they cared about was how much money I was making them. So in revenge I was number one the next month and walked out immediately after our little salesman of the month routine. Should have seen their reaction. What are you doing? Are you quitting? Why? Let's talk about it. Look, I'll call you, answer your phone. He called and I told him I wasn't working for such heartless people anymore. That was four years ago. They have asked me many times to come back but I never will. And I got the house, cars and full custody in the divorce. Expensive lawyers are good at their job, 